my name is Tariq Sherpa and uh, I was born in Nepal uh, to a painter family. Uh, my father is a traditional artist. After the earthquake in 2015, when I came back to Nepal for a longer period of time, I had the opportunity to like, uh, look closely at the traditional art scene. Also got to meet many different artists from different traditions. Working with a group of metal workers and a work that was already in a two-dimensional form, which I created in 2015, I think, uh, in a painting form, I wanted to to uh, create, recreate that in a three-dimensional sculpture form uh, in bronze. There's another another carpet like project, uh, which is uh, an installation where. I would like to share a little bit about the history of carpet uh, in Nepal because Nepal used to be one of the biggest uh, like exporters of carpet in the 90s. I also wanted to share how uh, knowledge was very fluid in Nepal because uh, while living in the States uh, for almost 20 years, what I felt was at times uh, people had a little bit of a misconception based on Nepal. Like Nepal is very static. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a Shangri-La uh, where everybody is almost enlightened and we're either enlightened or either very, very far away from modern era or like you know untouched uh, kind of a that kind of a misconception was always just there whenever i was interacting with people and i felt like uh, uh, there's so much history to share through art i'm also uh, creating a painting a large painting of uh, garuda uh, in 24 panels. This is another practice that I've been like uh, creating these works in fragments. Uh, so I always uh, refer to some old tankas from 15th, 16th century. And then I, I try to fragment it in different fragments, zoom in and repaint them. Having lived here for quite some time, I started like engaging with the younger generation. Why Nepal is becoming dynamic is because younger generation, like uh, students who were studying abroad uh, are coming back and uh, they're trying out new things, a new group of people. And this is an exciting period for them because they have seen like what role art plays in their community, in society abroad. And they want to bring it back and they want to to revive it so it's it's uh, everything is coming together at the moment and it feels like this is the right moment for nepal to actually engage in this conversation so that uh, it can develop its art scene and also uh, get informed uh, through international audiences